Google has achieved a feat with its $2.1 billion New York headquarters, and we're here to tell you all about it. Right now, the average New Yorker wouldn't be able to tell you how to get to the Google headquarters in St. John's Terminal or even describe what the video looks like, so let's find out. At first, it was three stories tall and ran along West Street in Lower Manhattan for three blocks. The original direction was north to south. It was built by the New York Central Railroad in 1934 to hold 227 fully loaded freight cars. The IT company management said that they would have some big plans for the building. Google, like most other big companies with a lot of white collar workers at the time, was worried about the future of the workplace from a medical, economical and philosophical point of view. Google's decision to keep the base of the old St. John's Terminal, instead of tearing it down and building a whole new building, helped keep an important part of the location's historical character. It was also able to save a lot of money and cut down on a lot of carbon emissions. The workforce is facing its biggest threat in decades because of how quickly people are working from home and getting rid of office spaces. Google's first presence in New York City was in the year 2000, when a single salesperson worked out of a Starbucks for the company. In 2010, the company bought the 15-story building in Chelsea for $1.8 billion, which showed how committed it was to keeping its headquarters there. After a rezoning in 2013, which led to many new high-rise and condo buildings being built, the area now has a growing number of people living there, as well as many businesses that have set up shop. Over the last 10 years, Google has done a lot to quickly grow its numbers of employees in Manhattan. The company has done this by hiring young engineers from the universities in the area, luring technology workers who don't want to live in Silicon Valley, and growing its marketing and sales departments. Since the end of 2018, the company has added 5,000 people to its staff in New York. Google said that the new office would be the anchor of its huge city campus, where most of the company's 12,000 employees work in the area. It should open sometime around the middle of 2023, and it plans to hire another 2,000 workers in the city in the coming years. Hudson Square is where Google's new office is to be located. Hudson Square is a neighborhood in Manhattan on the west side. It is between the Tribeca area, Greenwich Village, and Soho. There are a lot of tech, media, and creative companies with their headquarters there. Two examples are the company Squarespace, which makes websites, and the company Warby Parker, which makes glasses. The neighborhood was also chosen by Disney as the new home of the company's New York office headquarters. The Wall Street Journal, which broke the news first, says that this is the most expensive sale of a single US office building since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. It is also one of the most expensive sales in the history of the US. Google's presence in New York City has been growing steadily over the past few years. The company's largest office outside of California is now New York City. The city's economy has been slow to recover from the pandemic, and political leaders are worried that people taking longer to get back to work may have something to do with this, but they have also started to recognize that things have changed. Google has done well during the pandemic, just like other tech companies. It has made a lot of money which has been spent on real estate and other things, and when internet services go down, people become more reliant on them, using them for not only their usual tasks, but also for other things like school and work. In a recent blog post, Google says that it is buying the building because face-to-face -face cooperation is vital to its future, even though the company is moving towards a hybrid working environment. Google recently decided to put off going back to the office full-time until 2022, and it is now giving employees the option to work full-time from anywhere in the world if their jobs allow it. Even though the pandemic has forced many people to work from home, technology companies have been expanding their office spaces. Facebook has just bought an office building in Bellevue, Washington from the outdoor store REI. Bloomberg has said that Amazon has been looking into expanding its New York's Hudson Yards, while Apple has announced their major expansion plans in a number of cities across the United States. So what about the Google campus? Google called this area the Hudson Square Campus because they already own more than 400,000 square feet of space in several buildings in the area. Google's engineering teams were in the Chelsea building, while the company's global sales staff will be in St. John's Terminal building. Google has become one of the biggest users of office space in the city, but it has done it in a much less obvious way. The company is also working on something called the Super Pier, which will be built at Pier 57. 
This project will have 250,000 square feet of office space, as well as a food hall and an outdoor theatre. The building's south side entrance will provide access to parking for 800 bicycles, which will be located in the south side of the building. When it is finished, St John's Terminal will be 12 storeys tall and have 1.3 million square feet of usable space. Access to outdoor spaces is one of the principles, and the enormous wraparound terraces on the 12th, 11th and 4th floors of the building will be planted with native flora in order to provide shelter and sustenance not only to the local wildlife, but also to Google employees who work there. According to reports, Google employees were seen standing at the counters in the kitchens and sitting cross-legged on the grass in the terrace gardens. From the beginning, Google has said that keeping a steady flow of food coming in and going out was one of the most important things to them. Because Google was worried about the flow of food, the plans for the loading docks that were going to be on the ground floor of the building were changed. Google has requested that the building have a central staircase. This serves as a social purpose in addition to the staircases that lead to the building's emergency exits. This has been created for them by Gensler, which is one of the other firms working on the project. It descends the skyscraper from an angle, cutting diagonally through the structure, and its enormous landings were partitioned off from each floor by glass walls. A massive skylight has been erected directly above the top landing, and the idea was that some light would eventually make its way to the bottom floor. Google wants to make a workplace that is as flexible as possible, like one where you can change the floor plan over the course of a weekend. At the moment, people were putting in pre-made, movable conference rooms that plug directly into the plumbing and electrical systems. Google plans to open its St. John's Terminal office at 550 Washington Street by the middle of the year 2023. Ruth Porat, Google's chief financial officer, has said that this will be the company's biggest office outside of California. The campus will be about 1.7 million square feet and will be home to Google sales and partnership teams. The plans will give Google an even stronger foothold in Manhattan, which it already has. The company has said before that it planned to put $250 million into the city of New York this year. Google has said in a statement that the building will be reimagined into a highly sustainable, adaptive and networked architecture. When everything is said and done, 14,000 people will work for the company in New York City. So that's everything. What do you think of Google's new headquarters? Let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell to get more updates like this one. And as always, thank you very much for watching.